Hey guys, it's your boy Yansu566. It's been a while since I made a video, but now I'm back in the US. Got a new controller, and it feels so good having a brand new controller without drift control problems. So, anyway, um, yeah, like the drift controller problem was just really bad. But now I'm still just um, trying to set up my internet over here. So hopefully my ping will be better. Right now my ping is terrible. Coming from Asia, the ping was like 200 ping, 226, 257. Now in the back to the US, I have like a 167 ping. So my ping situation didn't really improve all that much because I'm still playing on my mobile device. Um, but hopefully once I get faster internet, uh, things, the ping will uh, be much better. But until then, let's just uh, get into this match. Um, in this match, I will be playing as Goku Black. Um, coming down with Shenron the Dragon here. Um, it's a nice match because it's, um, I'm playing solo versus a duel. And I got a lot of kill, uh, wrote the Vine Rail, did a lot of boomerang trick shots, and it's kind of nice. Um, the thing about this new season is there's like all these new weapons and um, they remove some of the uh, old weapons like the smart pistol um, and they also remove some of the uh, combat shotgun so I don't see the combat anymore and I don't see the um, smart pistol anymore so it should be interesting let's get into it hope you guys enjoy uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Yeah, there's, they remove a lot of mobility like the spider web and the ODM gear, the kinetic blade. This season, the only mobility that we have are the cars, the motorcycles, uh, the wolf are back, the boats are back, um, the wild boar are back, and then you can ride the smart uh, raptor, the dino raptor. Um, other than that, I, I don't think this, um, I mean, it could be, and then, and then sliding in the mud could really speed up your mobility, but for the most part, I think um, you can't get around the map. If, like if you have a, your teammate dying like a thousand five hundred meter away, um, it's really hard to get there in time unless you find some car or trucks or something. Um, I mean, riding on the boar across it for a thousand five hundred meter, I don't think you're gonna be able to pick up the teammate's cards. So you gotta st try to stick together. But sometime uh, when we land in a different spot for different reason, um, we're gonna just have to continue without our teammates or you know leave the match and start again. Because there is no fast way of getting across the map to like the way ODM gear and spider web is. I mean, by far this game, the, the best thing about mobility is the spider web and the kinetic blade. And they, they remove all of that now, so hopefully they bring back something up uh, in the future updates. Like maybe some cool Transformer uh, mobility would be nice because, you know, in the movie, Transformer can get around the Earth really fast. So, you know, if, if they put some Transformer mobility in here, which they, they don't, they only put the Transformer gun in here uh, for this season. Um, riding the vine rail is fine, but I don't. The vine rail doesn't continue all the way across the map. It's only in these um, jungle biomes that you're able to use the vines. So I wouldn't rely on the jungle vine to get you completely across a thousand five hundred meters. that they have is uh, these uh, yellow mushroom or flower that you can jump on and it will bounce you up really high and far away so if you get enough momentum and then run really fast and then jump on it it will shoot you across the valley pretty quickly um, the other one is the augment 
for sprint. Sprint augment uh, jumping ability is really nice. So when you drink the um, in combination of drinking the uh, the juice, uh, you can really jump um, and run, and then building ramp and jump across the map. I mean, that's one other way of uh, of getting across the map. Is a lot of running, sliding, and using the uh, roaring sprint. That's could um, augment could really help when you're trying to get across the map. But I think it's adequate, even though there's no spider web and no ODM gear. Uh, with all these combination of things, if you do it correctly, you can actually get across the map really quickly in the combination of things. nice got the boomerang the nice thing about the boomerang if you use it correctly like this like when you're far away at the distance and when they don't see you when you just throw at it throw at the enemy it's really nice i don't recommend well it depends on your angle that you hit but the boomerang being close range you probably should just use a shotgun over your boomerang if you fighting like close combat but at a distance, the boomerang like this one, is it's nice because you can hit him and it comes back really quickly. So, yeah, if you can aim very, very accurately, you can destroy your uh, opponent from without them even knowing. So there, I saw some bush camper using boomerang, right? They would sit in the bush and they would just like bushwhack people with the boomerang. And I think that seems to be really effective sometimes. Um, but in a close range combat, I'd rather choose the gun over the boomerang because I lost a few. Uh, I came in second, like in one of these few matches that we fought, and I mistakenly used the boomerang at the at the very end at the end game, which is n not recommended unless you somehow run out of reload the bullets. Then the boomerang comes back quicker, faster than reload. But I would, if you have purple or like gold mythic guns i rather you use uh, the mythic guns than the boomerang because boomerang only does 60 damage whereas a uh, shotgun does like um 120 or depending on where you hit them could be 200 if you hit them right in the head headshot um so yeah it's definitely more effective than the boomerang where a boomerang only does 60 modified the job board instead of the bounty board it's called the job board now in addition to acting as a bounty you can do scavenger hunts jobs and stuff like that so yeah the bounty board is no longer just a bounty board you can do um, extra activity on it now the uh, other update that they make to the game is um, a few new augments the primal augments um, allow you to see night visions when you're riding the animal like the wild boar and the wolf.
see the um, when when you have the primal augment you you ride you, when you ride the dinosaur uh it, it's kind of like giving you night vision ability um i i feel like this is kind of repetitive if you have the thermal gun uh, if you have the thermal gun it could do the same thing like you know you can see the night vision um and then also there's a radiated fish if you ate a radiated fish you can also get this um but with primal as long as your beast is still alive and then you're riding along with it you can always use it whereas the primal fish like i think uh there's a time limit to that it would the thermal uh, radiated fish will run out of the night vision after a certain time with this one if you hop off the beast like hop off your dinosaur you won't be able to see the radiated uh, thermal scope. So yeah, those three items in the game uh, that are very, acting very similar, the thermal snipe gun and then the um, radiated fish and the primal augment all give you the same ability. They look a little bit different, like one is like probably brighter than the other, one, but they're all acting like the same way. Those things comes in handy when you're really far away and you can see people um, it makes it really easy to see your enemy clearly, but it, it can really uh, give you a headache if you look at it at the monitor for too long. Um, in this match, I was playing solo versus duo. Um, I didn't get first place, I got fourth place and eight elimination, which is pretty good. It was a really nice game. Um, it's just towards the end here, uh, as always, when I'm switching weapon, I, you know, I, I wasn't shooting the, the right weapon here at the end, so the guy just took me out. When you're, when you're playing solo versus a duo, trio, or squad, you better be really fast about switching weapon and having the deadly on, otherwise they can take you out. Because you got like two guns beaming at you really fast. And if you can't miss your shot, if you miss your shot, you're close. Anyway, see you guys on the next video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, as always, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so.